Okay. We got the tension. Take newtons per centimeter times L minus 14 centimeters. L is the length of a, a, a spring or a rubber band or whatever. Okay. We're assuming it's a conservative force. Now the rubber band really isn't conservative. Pretty far from conservative, but still can kind of be approximated that way. A good spring is much closer to being conservative. Okay. When you stretch a rubber band out and then relax it, it exerts a different force. If you're stretching past a certain length or allowing it to relax past that length. Okay. Uh, it's also somewhat true of a spring. Uh, in the spring, of course, there are frictional forces and, and, and stuff. So none of these are really conservative. Anyhow, okay. So we got this. We assume this is conservative. What would you have to take the derivative of to get this expression? Well, first of all, what's the variable in this expression? Show me, don't say anything because you've got the camera on, but uh, uh, trace out the letter in the air that stands for the variable. Yeah. L. Okay? Length is what's changing. Of course, the tension is changing, but the tension isn't dependent on the length. Of course, you could say the length is dependent on the tension because you put a certain tension on it, it's going to go to a length, right? It's a little ambiguous, but the way this is written, T is a function of L, so L would be your independent variable. Okay. Uh, so what do you have to take the derivative to get this expression? Well, whatever you have to take the derivative of, that's your potential energy function. We talked about that last time with the graphs and stuff. If you didn't get all that, go back and think about it again. Okay. Now, uh, why is the slope of the potential energy function the force? Because what the rise and the run is between two points of the potential energy function. Um, okay, so du dl has to equal this, and we want to find u. Okay, now, if you know integration technique, you just put an integral sign in front of both of these with respect to L and so forth, and that's easy. It's not hard to figure out what you would have to take the derivative of. First, let's go ahead and distribute this, because we've got two terms, and each term is a different power of L. So we have 8 newtons per centimeter times L minus, well, 8 times 14 is 112. I did my arithmetic right. 112 newtons, right? Because newtons per centimeter times centimeters, okay? So, What would we take the derivative of to get 8 newtons per centimeter times L? Well, this is just a constant times L. What would we take the derivative of to get L? It would be L squared over 2, right? Okay. You can verify. You get 112 newtons, you take the derivative of 112 newtons times L. Just a constant multiple, just a constant multiple of L. So the antiderivative, the backwards derivative, if you want, is that same constant times L squared over 2. To get a constant number, you've got to take the derivative of that constant times L. There's your potential energy function. Okay? Now, from L equals 14 to 20 centimeters, what you're changing you? Well, that's U of 14 centimeters using function notation. And let's, let's just say, Make sure we understand this is U of L, function of length, right? Potential energy, function of length. Okay, U of 14 centimeters. <coughs> well, 
Square 114. You got 196. <coughs> square centimeter, you got a square centimeter. <coughs> Minus. Four times 196, which is 776 Newton centimeters minus 112 times 14 is, oh man, why do I have to use these numbers? Okay, well, it's uh, easy enough. That's 1400, and 12 times 14 is 128. No, 168. Okay. So, what did I say, 1,400, 1,568 Newton centimeters. It's a negative. Okay? So I don't guarantee I did all that arithmetic right. But now I can plug in 20 centimeters. I'm going to get 400 over 2. And I'm going to get, you know, Newton's over centimeters times centimeters squared is Newton centimeters. And here we get Newton centimeters. So this is work, right? Work energy. Uh, so we get 200 times this, which is 1600 Newton centimeters for the same reasons, minus 2240. Okay. change in you. Okay, let's go back to the original calculation. Getting ridiculous numbers here. Something not working out here. 